and safety, not health, health and safety, overseas health cover, medical help for international students workshop. Um, I will put up at the end a, um, a survey link, um, but that I'll save that to the very end. Um, my, my, what I'm saying here is just a bit of an introduction, and then I will hand it over to Jake from Allianz. Um, but first I'll start with Welcome to Country, if I can get this to click through. There we go. So the University of Queensland acknowledges the tra traditional owners and their custodianship of the lands in which we meet. We pay our respects to their ancestors, their descendants who continue cultural and spiritual connection to country. We recognize their valuable contributions to Australia and the global society. So what we will cover in this session. <clears throat> so this is, this is this is an important workshop. It, it's covering some things that will be, which may turn out to be very um, useful for you when you're in Australia, um, in terms of being in a new and unfamiliar environment. Um, the Australian health system is probably going to be quite similar to some places and quite different to other places. Um, and so. Yeah, so that's the, some of the things that we'll cover. We'll cover healthcare in Australia, routine medical treatment, hospitals, emergencies, and 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 Jake will probably cover in more detail than me. Um, um, overseas student health cover, but I'll talk about it a little bit. Um, in terms of what I can talk about, I'm, I'm my name's Andrew. I'm a student advisor. Um, if you ever need advice throughout the semester about submit extensions or deferring exams, you can always come and talk to me or my colleagues about these things. There's good information on the website. But just, just as a heads up, you, you'll need a medical certificate to get an extension on assignment. And likewise, if you want to defer an exam, um, you'll need a medical certificate. And you have five calendar days from the date of that exam to get that certificate. Um, and and a hot tip from me as a student advisor is if you're not feeling well, it's generally not advisable to sit the exam. And, and, you, and a deferred exam will be in a, usually about four weeks' time. Um, for longer term uh, medical issues, um, again, come and talk to a student advisor if that's occurring. Um, it may be possible to get permission to take an interruption for one semester, for example, from a course. Um, but you'll need to find out how that might impact your student visa. So come and talk to us. Um, the UK Union is also a good place for support around um, visas and visa information. Um, when you're on campus, we have an excellent medical centre, the UQ Medical Centre. Um, the opening hours are 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, just if you're using your Allianz cover, that will that will cover your the cost to go to the UQ Medical Centre. Um, and there'll be lots of other um, medical centres around Brisbane that you can also attend. So that's some information there. Yeah, and these are some of the things that are offered at the medical center. And that's that's a fairly typical list of things that you can get support from from a GP, otherwise known as a general practitioner. Um, a key difference you may notice in Australia is that um, <clears throat> to get an X-ray, you'll often have to go to a different site. To get a blood test, you'll often have to go to a different site. Um, we don't tend to have one-stop shop medical centers in Australia. But we do have a lot of GP or general practitioner um, medical centres, um, and it's quite usually you can get in within a few days. Um, <laughs> GP can also provide um, information about sexual health, contraception, pregnancy, and abortion. Um, and in terms of what we do at Student Services, um, there is a team of counsellors that can provide free counselling. So just the way to find that is to Google UQ counselling. Uh, pregnancy again, um, just Jake may talk about this in terms of um, the, just make sure that you're covered. Um, it, it's probably going to be an additional cover for um, in the case of a pregnancy. Um, and if you're in Australia and you're considering um, having, having a baby, have a, it's recommended to have a chat with your GP. 
Um, in terms of mental health, again, that's you can get support from student services. Um, that can be things like depression, feeling sad, sadness, um, anxiety, feeling fear and worry, um, stress, feeling like you have too much to cope with. Um, yeah, never be afraid to seek help. Um, that's a number for the UQ counselling line. But if you want to find um, UQ student services, that's the case of Googling UQ student services, and you can find us that way as well. Uh, there's a few numbers there um, relating to mental health. Um, I wouldn't expect you to remember them, but if you want to take a, a photograph or a screenshot, that, that might be a good reference point. But again, come and talk to student services. Um, and in case of emergency, the, the, the number in Australia is 000000. Um, and that, that will get you an ambulance. That will also get you a fire and also police. So it's triple zero. Uh, looking after yourself. Uh, these are some of the basics. I'm sure we've thought about these things, but it's, 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 it can be amazing how we can, in, in the midst of... Um, being a student, you can forget the importance of sleep. Um, generally recommended seven or eight hours of sleep. Um, obviously recommended to exercise and eat a balanced diet and eat plenty of veg fruit and vegetables. And these things will build your immune system, boost your mood, improve your sleep. It doesn't say it here, but improve your study. It's hard to study when we're feeling um, run down, um, reduce stress. Um, it can also help to regulate um, mental and emotional um, aspects of your health. Uh, and in conclusion, know your health insurance provider, your policy number, and contact them for all insurance coverage inquiries or when admitted to hospital. Uh, seek help as early as possible. Student advisors like myself are a good, um, good place to start as well. Um, if you've got questions, there's the opportunity to write in the Q&A section. So Jess will be on hand to um, answer questions. We might come back to them at the end. And I will hand over to Jake. Oh, um, oh I can't put my video up. No, that's okay. We don't want to, uh, we're sitting in the same room, so we don't want to echo. Going to quickly share my screen. Come on. Alrighty. You can see my presentation? Yeah. Okay, cool. All righty. Um, I guess as a representative of Allianz, we also want to acknowledge the traditional custodians. Um, of the land that we meet here today, paying our respects to their elders, past, present, and emerging. Um, I guess Andrew, thanks for having me today. It's it's uh, it's always exciting to come and um, present to multiple groups across UQ, meaning that uh, there's lots of students coming. Um, so we always want to welcome them with open arms. Um, but today we're going to cover off a few important aspects when it comes to your health whilst you're here in Australia. Um, I'm assuming majority of the people on this call, if not all, um, would have Allianz Care as their OSHC provider. I guess the, the main things we really want to make sure is that you're staying happy, healthy and, and study ready. And that's through multiple ways through um, accessing Andrew and the team here at UQ, but you can also contact us, um, like he mentioned, uh, contacting your healthcare provider uh, or your insurance provider, which is us, um, for anything in regards to your health. So contacting us via phone, which is 13OSHC. Um, that is a 24 hours a day, seven days a week um, phone line for international students. You can call us about whatever you need. Um, we have doctors and nurses on our staff. Um, if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, if you need help finding a service or um, you're solely just lost, um, we can help you uh, with anything that you need. So uh, give us a call. You can email us as well. Um, and obviously we do have a website that you can jump onto as well. But what is OSHC? Um, Allianz Care Australia OSHC or, or uh, Overseas Student Health Cover 
It's health insurance, which is going to help uh, you meet some of the costs of your health care. It's important to understand that OSHC will not cover all of the costs of your health care, but will assist you in meeting some of the costs. Um, there are some instances where you may need to be treated, where you will have out-of-pocket costs, um, uh, but we can help you um, identify when that will be happening. But it's also important to understand too that it's a uh, requirement of your student visa that you must hold OSHC. So if you change anything with your visa, your OSHC must change um, as well to match it. Your OSHC is gonna give you professional support. Uh, so you get support from Allianz with our um, uh, medical team and the emergencies. You get access to the Australian medical system, so high quality healthcare. Uh, but again, it meets those requirements of your student visa. So keeping, um, keeping that up to date and ensuring that it's always active. A really important number um, that you're always going to see or hear us ask you for is your policy number. Now, when, um, when uh, the University of Queensland scheduled your policy on your behalf or if when you purchased it, you would have been sent some documents which had a number that started with a P followed by zero, zero, and then seven individual numbers. That is your policy number. That policy number will identify you to any Allianz staff member in the event that you need some help um, or if we need to change any of your details. Now, I can tell you now that probably Andrew and I, we don't even know our private health uh, membership number, so that's okay. Um, but what you can do is you can actually supply us also with your UQ student ID number and we can identify your details um, using that as well. So um, don't stress. You probably don't even know that you received this policy number. It's fine. Um, you're not going to get in trouble. We're not going to quiz you on it. Um, it's just if you do have it handy, it makes the process just that little bit easier for you as well. Now, feel free to grab your phones. I've got a few QR codes to download some apps um, that are going to make your life just a little bit easier. The first one is the Allianz My Health app. This app here ultimately is your golden ticket. Um, it gives you access to your membership card, which has your policy number printed on it. You can submit uh, a claim. So if you've paid for a medical service and you need to make a claim by taking a photo of the receipt, you can upload it onto this app and then we will pay, uh, pay you back your refund. You can view your policy details. And then if you need to upgrade or change any um, information in regards to your policy, uh, you can do that too on the app. So uh, that can be done on the Google store or on uh, the Apple store. Our next one is a really, really important um, app that I would love. If there's any app that I'm going to talk about today, it's going to be this one, which is called Sonder. Now, Sonder is a uh, safety, uh, safety app that is accessible for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They can talk to you about medical situations, mental health. Uh, if you're feeling lost, you don't know who to talk to at UQ, um, you can also talk to Sonder and they'll direct you into the, um, into the right area. Uh, if you've lost your membership details for Allianz, they will help you with that as well. Um, and you can actually talk to them via uh, texting them, via a chat or calling them. But also someone can, in the event of a major emergency, if you're feeling unsafe somewhere, uh, they can send someone to your destination um, wherever you are, free of charge. So uh, click of a button, someone can come out and help you. So like I said, if you're um, uh, needing assistance, Sonda can assist you with your mental health or your medical concerns, family life, workplace stress, anxiety, fatigue, um, I think we just came off exam block. Yep, it's a stressful time um, and you don't feel overly confident talking to someone in person. You can chat to uh, Sonda confidentially um, and just say that you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed and they can give you a bit of, um, bit of assistance. Uh, if you're feeling unsafe uh, in Brisbane, on campus, anything like that, um, they can help you out. They also have some uh, safety scanning features. Uh, so what does that mean for you? In Brisbane, we have some crazy weather. Um, 
we at the moment for some unknown reason it's like the arctic circle um, it's about 12 degrees in brisbane um, that's not normal for us um, but we do have floods at the same time too or extreme heat uh, which can help will obviously cause um, health concerns. So they will actually send you notifications as to maybe how to stay safe, how to stay cool, how to warm up, um, or maybe to stay away from certain areas if there is a, um, an emergency happening. They have a feature called Check On Me. Uh, for those that are looking at walking to and from campus or catching the bus, you can actually say in two hours time, can you please check on me to make sure that I'm okay? Um, and what they'll do is say, you're going from one o'clock in two hours time, so three o'clock, give me a call. At three o'clock, they'll call you and say, are you okay? Did you get to your destination all right? Um, and you would let them know that you're all good to go. Um, they also have track my journey. So again, same sort of situation, but they will uh, make sure that you get to your destination okay by tracking your journey, um, by simple things of like using uh, Google Maps. If you go off the path or if you stop or if something happens or if you're un uncontactable, uh, again, they'll reach out to you and make sure that you're okay. Um, so they really are there to make sure that you stay safe um, wherever you are. You're coming to a strange city um, and they also work with Allianz, but they also even work closely uh, with UQ to ensure that you um, are kept safe. In person as well, they do have in-person circumstances in the event of major um, major incidences. So if you're needing um, some assistance to administer some mental health first aid, um, if we need to confirm that your safety um, uh, due to an overdue check on me or track my journey request has happened and you have been uncontactable, we will uh, they will come out to you. Um, we can they can assist you with formal processes such as making reports to police um, if an incident has happened, domestic violence, um, or uh, if in the worst case you've had to appear in court for something, they can assist you there as well. They also are very, very helpful if in the instance you have an accident with um, going through the process of sharing information or insurance information, um, uh, they can come out and, and help you with that too. So, um, Sondra is eligible for all Alliance members that have purchased their policy through um, UQ, which is everybody on this call. Um, ultimately, you pop in your uh, email address uh, and then an activation email will be sent to you and you follow the prompts. It's simple as clicking on that link. It'll open it up, uh, activate it and say that you are eligible and off you go. You can use Sondra straight away. I would say this is probably one of the um, most important apps that you can have on your phone next to the My Alliance app. So please do ensure that you download it. Um, you'll hear a lot about Sonda when you arrive on campus. They're always here with, with myself. Um, UQ are always talking about Sonda. Um, so please uh, do use them. It's completely free of charge. There's no cost to you and it's completely confidential as well. We do have a mental health and wellbeing app as well, completely free of charge. Again, just downloading that um, and popping in your policy information. This one here is a confidential uh, self-assessment mental health and wellbeing app. So you'd pop, uh, pop your details in, then you would complete a mental health fitness training, and then you can actually chat with an expert. So you get four 30 minute sessions completely free of charge um, to do some coaching. Um, to help with any anxiety, stress, overwhelmed, um, upset, you're going through something, that's totally okay. You can talk to um, the professionals on uh, the, the Allianz app too. Now, if you need to see a doctor, um, doctors in Australia can sometimes have some wait periods. Um, even for Andrew and I, we have to wait for doctors. Sometimes it can be a week, sometimes it can be longer. What we have done is we've partnered with a company called Doctors On Demand, which is a 24 hour a day, seven day a week service, um, which gives you access to a doctor via a video or phone call. Now, I have to reiterate that in the first instance, if you can, your preference will be to go to the UQ Medical Center in person. That is your first point of call. Um, there is a medical center at 
um, St. Lucia, Gatton and at Hurston. So wherever you're going to be based out of, um, there is a medical centre there that you can go to where all of the um, services provided there will be directed back to Allianz. So you will not be out of pocket. It's the same with Doctors on Demand. Um, they will do the same. It's completely free of charge. Um, but they can give you prescription medications, medical certificates. Um, if you want to talk to the doctor about your mental health, you can do that too. Um, and it's as simple as just booking through the app or on their website, which is doctorsondemand.com.au. Um, now, in the event of a non-life-threatening medical emergency or a life-threatening medical emergency, in Australia, we've got two very distinct pathways um, to get or receive medical treatment here in Australia. Um, an example of a non-life-threatening medical emergency, you've fallen off a scooter and all you've done is scraped your leg or your knee and you're slightly ble bleeding. I can tell you now, if you approach a hospital into the emergency department, they will probably not give you too much attention um, because that is not a medical emergency. You can go to the general practitioner um, to get that treated. If in the event that you've fallen off that scooter but broken your leg, that is a medical emergency where you would present to the hospital um, and they would be treated. So non-life-threatening medical emergencies will go to the doctor or the general practitioner life-threatening medical emergencies, um, you would head to the hospital or calling triple zero like Andrew mentioned just before. Now, if you need to find a doctor that's outside of Doctors On Demand, you can go to our website, alliancecare.com.au, click on the find a doctor. It'll bring up a little page that looks like this. Now, you'll pop in there um, up in the right-hand corner. It says, I'm a student visa holder. You pop in the uh, suburb that you live in. So let's just say St. Lucia. You want to click open now. You can pick the language that you would like that doctor to speak. And then if you would like a female or a male doctor. Now, if we put St. Lucia in, um, obviously the UQ Medical Center would be your first point of call. Um, you would ultimately click on that, give the number a call uh, and book in an appointment um, to see them as well. So all of our options for non-life-threatening help outside of the hospital. So you got the find a doctor, the video chat, um, and then the one three national home doctor service as well. Health and wellbeing hub, a really helpful uh, little tab on our website, um, gives you information as to how to access the healthcare system in Australia. It's confusing, um, don't worry. If you're getting it wrong, if you're ever in doubt, come and see Andrew. I'm sure he'll point you in the right direction. Um, but it is also important to understand that Alliance has a full-time staff member on campus at St. Lucia that works Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Student Central. You don't need an appointment to see us. Um, you can just walk up uh, and say that you would like to see Allianz and we can help you through any uh, questions you may have in regards to your um, health insurance but again you can come here um, and uh, find any information. Now I know that I've quickly gone through those apps because um, I didn't want to bore you with all the information but the apps and tools that we've spoken about are also on this page. Um, you can uh, head there to get more information about them along with a very joyous help centre with frequently asked questions. There's documents in there as to how to make a claim, um, information on what's not covered, what is covered, all of those sort of things um, you can find on our website. Alrighty, let's talk about membership cards. This is what a membership card looks like. Like I said, it's gonna have your name on it, but uh, that important number, your policy number, your plan type. So. Um, all UQ students have essentials cover, just means that you get coverage more than what our standard cover is, uh, along with your start date and your end date. But really, really importantly, that 13 OSHC number is on the back that you can call us 24 hours a day. All right, what is covered, what is not covered? So if you need to go to the GP, so again, we'll say you're going to be going to the UQ Medical Center, 100% of the Medicare benefit schedule fee will be covered. I can tell you that if you're going to the UQ Medical Centre, you will not pay for that service ever. Okay. Um, as long as you have your Allianz card, 
uh, with you, your membership card, and you show that to the doctors, then they will send the bill to us. If you need to see a specialist that is outside of the hospital, um, we will cover 85% um, of the MBS fee. So you will have some out-of-pocket expenses with specialists. If you need to go to hospital in the event of an emergency, 100% of the charges for medical services provided in hospital, uh, including hospital shared water accommodation. So if you need to be admitted overnight or the same day, intensive care, and if you've had an operation, so after your operation services, accident emergency department charges and outpatient department charges will be paid by us 100%. Um, so don't worry if you're ever in an emergency, um, you won't be handed a bill. Um, they will talk to our team and we will pay for that for you. And that also goes for the event if you need to ever call triple zero. Um, if you call an ambulance, uh, we will be paying for that too. Um, if you need to have prescription medication, um, we will uh, contribute $50 per item um, to bring the cost down of those, uh, of those medications. Sorry, I lost my words there. You do have an annual limit of $500 for singles and $1,000 for couples or family per year. If you need to have a blood test or an x-ray, we'll cover 85% um, of the Medicare fee. Uh, if you needed a prosthesis, 100% of the minimum benefit is covered on there. Um, and I don't like talking about this, but unfortunately I do need to uh, talk about this. In the event of a serious illness, injury, medical condition or death, uh, we will cover the costs approved by a medical practitioner appointed by us to a maximum benefit of $10,000. So what does that mean to you? Ultimately, that means that we will look after you no matter what to get you home to your family. Um, we will work closely with UQ to ensure that that is um, taken care of with the utmost respect. Um, and we obviously also uh, respect any religious beliefs as well in the event of um, death. God, that really dampens the mood, doesn't it, when we have yeah. to talk about that? Let's talk about some fun stuff. Oh, unfortunately, I go straight into what's not covered. Make but sure anyway, yeah, <laughs> please stay, stay safe. safe. Stay um, safe. Um, so dental, physiotherapy and chiropractic services are not covered. Contact lenses and eyeglass prescriptions are not covered. Unfortunately, you can't get any cosmetic surgery. So lads, no nose jobs or anything like that. Medications, drugs or other treatments pres not prescribed by a doctor. So herbal medications or Panadol or uh, standard household um, drugs uh, over the counter you will pay for. IVF is not covered and medical treatment that is rendered outside of Australia. So if you decide to go home and visit family and you get sick, you cannot claim those um, illnesses back onto your OSHC. Now, if you have a pre-existing medical condition, so that is a medical condition or an illness or a health issue you had during the six months before you arrived in Australia, um, there will be a wait period of 12 months before that can be covered under your OSHC. That excludes pregnancy and that excludes mental health. Okay, so if it's any, uh, anything outside of those, there is a wait period and you can come and talk to us uh, on campus or give us a call to know when your uh, wait period started, which is the start date of your um, policy. If you want some extra cover, you can. You can buy um, uh, our extras cover, which will get you dental, physio, and uh, eyeglass prescription contact lenses cover. It's roughly about four hundred dollars per year, um, on top of what you've um, on top of your sponsorship there. If you're wanting to change your policy, it is very very important um, that you need to let um, Rachel in the sponsorship team know, um, so that she can keep that all up to date. So. IOP. These are IOP students. No, no, this is not. This oh, this. Sorry, no, my mistake. No. Just disregard what I just said. So, <laughs> so the yeah. yeah, yeah. So come and see our Alliance representative. Um, like I said, we are here full time. We're practically part of the family now here. That is pretty much it. So um, I just I don't know, Andrew. Do we have time to open the floor for any questions? 
Yes, we have one. We had one question. One question. I didn't. We, didn't... we have. Do we use our college email ID to log in, or our personal email ID? That's a great question. Yeah. Um, uh, is the question in relation to Sonda? I'm assuming. Uh, it was. It was a question that came quite early on. Okay. It may well be. It may well be. Yeah. So um, you could you could actually probably try either email um, in regards to activating that. More often than not. It's probably using your personal email because your um, your college email wouldn't have been set up at the time your policy was purchased. So give your personal one a try first. Um, if that doesn't work, then process of elimination. Hopefully uh, your college one does. If you have any trouble though, just let us. Um, you can give us a call and let us know, and we can let you know um, what that email address is. Then a follow-up question on pre-existing medical conditions. Yes. Um, if I have a pre-existing medical condition mentioned long before I come, do I still have a wait period? Right. So um, if it's that's still deemed a pre-existing medical condition. Um, so ultimately, if you've had that medical condition six months prior to your arrival, that is still deemed a pre-existing medical condition. So there is still a wait period there. The reason there is a wait period is unfortunately um, the risk to the insurer is we just need to see, uh, or we have to have that barrier between us and that medical condition before we can treat it. What we would then do once your wait period is up, we would work with you to get a guaranteed treatment done with you and uh, UQ Medical, which is probably the preferred doctor, to get a plan in place to ensure that you get the right treatment when um, when you're all set up and ready. So quick answer is yes, it is still a pre-existing. I think that's all the questions. That's, that's, that's all, all the questions, questions at the moment, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice, quick, nice quiet group. Again, um, I know I'm repeating myself, but please don't be shy. Come and see us on campus. Um, that's what we're here for. Um, we work with Andrew and the team very, very closely. They always let us know if there's any concerns happening. Um, uh, but please come and see us. There's never a silly question when it comes to insurance. So, um, yeah, I guess have a safe travels um, and congratulations and welcome to the UQ family. And I'm, well, I've I put up a survey up. link um, at the end of this as well. If you, yep. you guys want to hang around for just five, five seconds, seconds, that would be really yep. appreciated to get some feedback. Yeah. No worries. Um, Cool. I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to get that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's, that's hopefully you can see the um the, the survey, survey short, short survey link, link there. there. Thank, Thank you guys, guys for your attendance. Um and um yeah, yeah. All, the all the other workshops, workshops are well worth attending also, also. thanks <laughs>Andrew or Jack, are you both still available to answer questions because we still have a few? Do I have time to quickly answer these questions? If you want to. Yeah, yeah. Hi, guys. I'm just going to quickly jump back in because it seems to be there's a few questions coming through again. Um, so I've bought my Allianz uh, OSHC through IDP. Can I still get access to Sonda? Um, I'm assuming IDP, the agent, uh, the, the migration agent. If you have purchased via IDP, um, the migration agent, Unfortunately, no. Sonder is only accessible to students that have purchased um, their Allianz OSHC policy through UQ. Uh, will, UQ will the UQ Medical Centre cover the medical fees for my children too? 
if they are covered under your OSHC policy, dependents can, yes, also see um, your dependents here. They're the only university, I'll just point this out, they're the only university that allows um, dependents to come in here. So you've been quite lucky with that. Um, uh, can I still have access to Sonder app for free if I bought? No, so um, Sonder is only, um, uh, is exclusive only to Allianz Care OSHC. So if you do have anyone else like Booper or Medibank, they don't have access to um, Sonder. Um, does our OSHC cover our healthcare in any hospital and medical institutions or only specific ones? So your OSHC cover will cover you um, across the country in any hospital. There's a very important um, note to probably point out here is uh, in the event that you do need to go to the hospital, you would present to what we call the public health system here. The reason being is the, um, uh, the chances of the cost um, coming back to you are uh, eliminated. If you went to what we call the private system, um, there would be some out-of-pocket costs to you. So if you do ever need to um, present to a hospital, go to the pr uh, public hospital. Um, is there any coverage for any health checkup under pre-existing health conditions during the wait period? So um, you can you can still go and see the GP to get a checkup on that, but in regards to actually getting it treated or any medical conditions in regards to that pre-existing medical condition, you would have to pay for that um, treatment of that health condition, if that makes sense. So you can still go and see the team at UQ Medical, but the treatment of it, so the medication that you need to take for it is, um, is needing to be paid for by you. Okay. All righty. Well, guys, I need to jump off because I have another meeting, but thank you all very much. Safe travels to Australia um, and very best, all the good luck with your studies.